scared me. I didn't see it. Today I'm here to talk about my favorite singers, Michael Jackson. <laughs> now you know him for some songs like Black and White, Billie Jean, Beatty. Yeah, you know the classics, right? But you know, we're talk we're here to talk about a more serious manner. Like races. Michael Jackson influenced almost all pop stars behind him. But he wouldn't have gotten these goals. He had to set up for racism, discrimination, and showed people that they can be whoever they want without it including their race. Remember, we're all brothers and sisters no matter what color we are. Ever since he was young, Michael Jackson strived to be the best singer he could. In 1964, he joined a once very popular band called Jackson 5 as their lead singer. After that, in a performance in Alabama, they had been tracked by the KKK. At the hotel reception, they were told that there wasn't a room booked for them even though they had booked one beforehand. And after practically begging for a room, they were given one facing an alley. And trash cans! Michael questioned, why would someone treat us like that because of our skin color? It was the first time he'd been made to feel unwanted and unpopular. It made us more determined to kick some butt on stage because we soon re recognized the importance of being black kids performing for their black fans who could now identify with us. We were carrying the torch for our forefathers, winning respect for every black kid with a dream. These quotes are from You Are Not Alone by Jermaine Jackson. When Michael Jackson was starting out as an individual pop star, even though segregation legally ended in 1964, some 17 years ago, MTV would only offer airplay to white rock artists. Yeah! It's been, the record companies really, really do conspire against their artists. They steal, they cheat, they do whatever they can, especially the black artists. Yeah. MTV was a lack of music as R&B because of his race and stereotypes, even though it was rock, which made him angry. And after having enough of their unfairness, he told himself he'd never let this happen again. Many people hated Michael because of his skin color, and musical television often refused to airplay to him for the same racist reason. But Michael Jackson never believed skin color should affect the way someone's treated or looked at. He ignored and stood against the racist and discriminating things that people did and say to get in his way. People thought that pop 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 cheerio because he was black. It didn't matter if he had talent and he wasn't as important as other pop and rock stars at the time. In 1984, Don King told Michael he was just another person of lower value and he'll always be treated as one. Because I'm tired, I'm really, really tired of the manipulation. I'm tired of how the press is manipulating everything that's been happening in this situation. They do not tell the truth, they lie. Despite, Despite all the discriminating things that were said and done to him, him in the end, end Michael Jackson fought through it and is now an idol looked up upon by many, many people. He's an inspiration to many, many other people who are treated badly in the music industry because of their because race. Of their